It is about to get crazy up in here. I have circle E, the measure of angle G is 70 degrees and the measure of arc BD is 80 degrees. That's it. And I have to find every arc and angle in this diagram. O M G. This is, this is going to be lit capital L I T. All right. It's going to be straight fire. Anyways, let's get to it because I'm just so excited. Okay. So this is 70 degrees right here for that angle, right? Now BD is 80 degrees. And I'll just jot that down like right on the arc there. Okay. We're just finding the individual arcs. So where can we go from here? Well, lots of places to start. I'm going to go with finding arc FD. I know that G is a two tangent. It's an out angle. Points D and F are tangent. Okay. If it looks tangent, you can assume that it's tangent when we're dealing with these circles and stuff like that. Usually we'll state that in the directions. So if that's an out angle, it's two tangents, then I know that 180 minus 70, which is 110, that's going to be my arc right there. All right. Those two, the arc and the angle, add to 180 degrees. They're not supplementary because they're not two angles, but their measures do add up to 180. Awesome. Fantastic. Wonderful. Now, it says that it's circle E, which means that this right here, that's a diameter. It cuts the circle in half, 180 degrees apiece. Well, if I have 110 already spoken for, this part right here is 70 degrees. That arc is 70 degrees. Lovely. And I believe I can apply that over here as well. Perhaps we should have had one more letter here. How about H? Okay. So that arc is going to then be one. 100 degrees. I have all of my arcs for my circle here. And that does indeed add up to 360 degrees. So we didn't make a mistake there. Cool. How about let's move to angle A. I'll do that in yellow. We're going to find this angle A. That's an out angle. It's two intercepted arcs. Well, let's see here. It hits at F, H, and D. So my big arc would be the 110 my small arc would be my 70 right there. So 110 minus 70 divided by two. Let me get some of that stuff off. There we go. 110 minus 70 divided by two. That's going to give me 40 divided by two, which equals 20 degrees. So we've got 20 degrees. Cool. Lovely. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep cruising. Pop that over there. Lovely. All right. Um, how about, let's see, how about angle C? We know angle C over here. I'll switch to orange now. All right, for angle C, that is also an out angle. Its intercepted arcs hit at that point of tangency, and then the secant line goes to D and F. So I would take my larger arc, which is the 100 and the 70, so 170 right here, and I'm going to subtract the 80 degrees and divide by 2. So same formula as the last one but we got to add the 100 and the 70 together. So I have 170 minus 80 divided by two. That's going to be 90 divided by two equals, well, did here, 90 divided by two is 45. All right, 45 degrees. Cuckoo, shrink it down. There we go. All right, what other angles do we need here? Um, it looks like we could probably find... Um, how about actually maybe we'll stay we'll stay orange that shows up pretty nice how about this angle right here and we can also then get this one right here right because those two should be supplementary to each other so either one's cool in fact I can clearly see this angle that I marked twice is going to be an on angle that intercepts this 110 degree arc what is my formula for an on angle it's half of the intercepted arc so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take 110 divided by two, that's 55 degrees. So this is 55 degrees for that angle right there. All right, why don't I shrink that down, pop it over there so we have that work. And then how am I gonna get the other angle? Well, those are supplements of each other, right? So 180, man, I need more colors. I need more colors here. We'll go with the light green here. So 180 minus 55, that's gonna end up with, what well, we got 125. So 125 degrees. All right. Oh, man. Work city. Work city over here. There we go. All right. Now we have other angles. We do. And also, let's double check something real quick here. Check this out. 
This angle that's 125 is an on angle, right? It intercepts the arc 70, 100, and 80 because it hits all the way over here at D. That adds up to 250. Cut that in half. It's 125. Checks out with my supplement and with my on angle formula. That is dope. That is awesome. All right. It looks like we just have two more angles to figure out. Eh, three more angles, actually, right in here. Okay. So let's start with, let's see which one's easiest maybe to find. Hey, how about this? We've got, um, again, an on angle right here that's actually going to be the same intercepted arc. And I'm just going to mark that 55 right now, right? That's going to be the same one as the angle over by F. And also, these two are congruent, so it's an isosceles triangle. Those should be the same measure. Also cool to verify it that way. Lovely. All right. How about this angle right here? Well, that one intercepts this arc of 70 degrees, and it's an on angle. So 70 divided by 2, that's 35 degrees. 35 degrees. All right. And then last but not least, last but not least, can we figure out one more angle? Let's see. How about this? What do we know about that one right there? And that's going to be supplementary to the 35. So it's a straight line, that secant line going through. So 180 minus 35, that's going to be 145, 145 degrees. I believe we have covered every single arc and angle in this wild radical awesome diagram here all right now we could have maybe not a full problem like that on a quiz or a test but something shrunk down a little bit maybe a few of those things you might ask for two or three of them right but that really has everything going on there for all of our different formulas except for an in angle but other than that that was pretty awesome